Welcome to downtown Vienna, Austria. And amongst all these old buildings, of course, you'd think geology might be the furthest thing from your mind, but it turns out that some of these old buildings are made out of various stones quarried locally that are interesting. So I thought we'd take a look at some of these building stones. Thanks for joining me. I'm geology professor Sean Wilsey here on a vacation in Europe with my wife and some friends. Uh, let's go take a look at some of the building stones here. So on this bank, we have this really exquisite uh, banded metamorphic rock. This would probably be a, a migmatite. There's sort of a gradational area between metamorphic gneiss, which is a high grade metamorphic rock produced by high temperatures and pressures, and migmatite, which is a rock even higher grade than gneiss, where the rock is partially melting and becoming an igneous rock. And we can see in some of these zones here that the rock is partially melted <clears throat> back into material that's cooled and crystallized into granite. So we can see the foliated, banded, metamorphic uh, grain and texture over here, and then more of the igneous, intrusive texture, more of a crystalline type of material here. So some really exquisite migmatite. Don't know exactly where they would have quarried this from, uh, but pretty interesting nonetheless. And then a, a very dark, intrusive igneous material that makes up the lower half here down along the street with some of the, the crystals in this. Let's head down over here though and see this <coughs> building from the front. You can see just how awesome the architecture is here in this central square. Uh, and there are some sandstones and limestones I've seen as well. We'll try to get some more of those in as we go. But here is the actual bank and the pillars that are made out of this migmatite material. We come in a little bit closer. You can see some of these pods of quartz-rich granitic material here for the banding uh, from the metamorphic grain. And then let's head over here by the front of the building and see if there's anything else. Looks like it's similar material down on the floor here and this looks maybe like a marble, this kind of pinkish marble in here. Uh, so you can see actually quite a variety of rock types in here. The pinkish marble, this darker intrusive igneous, the metamorphic going into migmatite, and then even this dark little band right in here quite sure exactly what that is but fourth type of rock uh, there a little bit more of the pink pinkish hue probably from the potassium feldspars in this little section and interestingly they didn't really lacquer the the pillars so they don't really have the maybe they're working on this I don't know but the sheen on them and in here you can actually see some of the actual crystals shining. It's almost like you can feel the actual rock, like they haven't put the actual uh, sealant or lacquer over the top of this part like they did down here along the floors. Yeah. Um, let's see, anything else? <clears throat> I think that was the main thing that kind of jumped out to me. This building was so different in terms of the rock types that have been used on it. Um, just this darker, a lot of the buildings are very light in color. Most are probably some sort of synthetic material, but I thought this one was striking because of the darker material here. So we'll go check out and see if we can find some other interesting building stones here from the central little plaza here, part of Vienna, Austria. All right, so we've come down this little street here with lots of shops and there's several other buildings that have some really interesting rocks so let's go ahead and look at a couple of these um this building here looks like it's made out of a really nice breccia so you can see a lot of these really angular class light and dark uh, large particles some of them is you know big as your hand or bigger some veins cutting through it as well so really nice breccia. Who knows where it's from? Probably a local quarry, but maybe, maybe not. And then let's see over here. 
Interesting rock here. I'm not sure exactly what this one is. Um, yeah, it doesn't really have the crystallinity of like an igneous rock. Maybe some sort of metamorphic rock. It's a little bit of flowing kind of banding in it there. So this little section of the street has several different rock types we can look at. Looks like there's another one over here. One here looks like maybe another metamorphic or sedimentary rock. Hard for me to tell on some of these. Um, some of the fractures filled with vein material, it looks like. Interesting. So yeah, lots, lots of these buildings made out of different stones from the area. We can go a little bit further down here and see if we find another one. Pretty busy this time of day. Let's see if there's another one down here. Some of the more light colored ones, we'll have to see if we can get up close to one. A lot of uh, limestone, some sandstone as well that make up those buildings. And I don't see any down here made out of rock. So we'll go ahead and sign off on this section and maybe I'll add another one if I find one. So signing off from Vienna, Austria. So here's another section with stone. This looks like a travertine. So this is a type of limestone, a sedimentary rock where um, like you might see in a cave or a spring deposit where the calcite's been precipitated out from water or fluids. Um, that are concentrated in those materials. You can see a little bit of the banding in it here. It's kind of subtle. It's a little bit more porous, so you can see some of the pore spaces here. But this to me looks like uh, a travertine right here on this storefront. But we'll continue on and see what else we can find. One more little section here. Looks like an intrusive igneous rock, big feldspar crystals quartz, plagioclase, and then some of these dark xenoliths, these um, pre-existing rock fragments that the magma encapsulated before the magma crystallized into the granite. So you can see some of these darker, more mafic xenoliths here. Just really nice rock they've used on some of the buildings here. So you can kind of see a view there of the city center or this section of Vienna. Pretty awesome and remarkable. Let's see if we can find another rock type. It's like a heavily sandstone kind of conglomerate. Um, maybe some sort of aggregate they actually made, but it might be native or natural. A lot of these are pretty rounded. And I'm going to go catch up with the rest of our group, but we'll jump back on if we find any more interesting stones on the sides of the buildings. So here's a stone I've seen before. I'm used to this one. This one we've, I've seen before. This is let me get a place where the glare is not so bad. Uh, this is called Rapikivi granite. So you can see there's um, these rounded blobs in here. It's a very different type of granite. A lot of this is quarried, I believe, from Finland. I'm not sure if this comes from that area or not. But you can see these mostly potassium feldspar pink blobs in here. And a lot of them are rimmed by uh, a little bit darker material, kind of a greenish gray, that is the plagioclase feldspar. So really interesting and very distinctive type of rock. Let's see another little section of it down here. So beautiful Rapikivi granite here in Vienna, uh, just outside this jewelry store. And we'll take a look at St. Stephen's Cathedral here in Vienna, just a beautiful uh, old church here in the central square. And 
take a look at the rock here. Appears to be some sort of limestone, like a bioclastic limestone. Looks like there's some shells in here. Uh, pretty porous. I think it's a limestone more than a sandstone. Let's look over here. Could be a calcareous sandstone, not sure. I'll have to look some of this up later. And then some of these look like fossils to me. Another one over here, perhaps. Perhaps a coral or a piece of a shell. A little hard to say. Um, let's see what else we see. Just a little section in here. Looks like it's some fossil fragments and busted up shells. Usually this turns into a pretty good building material because it's fairly soft. So it's easy to cut these blocks because um, it's fairly soft material. So my guess is this is a, a very fossil rich, like a bioclastic limestone, just based on what I'm seeing right here. Don't have the acid bottle with me. And even if I did, I probably would not feel super good about putting it on this ancient uh, building stone. There's like a, maybe another little cluster of fossil material in here. Um, yeah, pretty awesome. Beautiful. Let's just kind of look our way down this way. Some more of the fossil bioclastic material. Just bu busted up shell fragments. Probably deposited in a um, near shore kind of reef setting or near a reef where you get lots of biologic productivity and then enough wave action to break up those that material and then deposit it uh, maybe close to the coast coastline somewhere near the beach so just kind of taking my time walking down it's another big shell right here another one down here Yeah, there could be a couple different rock types in here too. This looks more like a uh, more like a medium grain sandstone. So there could be more than one rock type deposited in here. Here's another section with some of the shells in there as well. So so St. Stephen's Cathedral here in. Vienna, some clasts. So this part's a little more energetic and there's actually some clasts of some rock material in here as well. In and amongst these fossils and uh, the more organic rich material. Probably not a lot of other people here besides me looking at the actual rock itself. Everyone else is super interested in the architecture, which I still find fascinating as well, but I do enjoy looking at the rocks as well. So. Just signing off here from the beautiful uh, St. Stephen's Cathedral in Vienna.